Hello my girlies, welcome to today's video, which is the first look at Buff Buddy Collection's 70s collection. I'm so excited to show you these pieces. So you might be wondering, what's going on? Why are we on YouTube? Why are we not on Instagram Live like we normally do? Well, if you're watching this video on the day that it came out, or the week that it came out, I'm actually on vacation, I'm in Mexico. But I could not leave my girlies hanging. I had to show you the pieces. So I pre-recorded my unboxing, which is more of a first look, so that you guys can have all of the details right away. This 70s collection launches on Saturday, July 2nd at 1 p.m., so right around the corner. And it features all of these retro groovy colors from the 70s. Okay, so I've already taken everything out of the box and I've already unpackaged everything. Part of the reason is that because as soon as I'm done filming this video, I'm taking some of these pieces to vacation with me. I'm going to wear them in Mexico. I, I, there's so many lifestyle pieces here that I'm just like dying to get to the beach and just wear them out. But I'm going to go ahead and get started. Let's start with the bras. I'm going to go in order. Um, so just as a reminder this is not my sizing video this is not my try on video this is just a first look at the items so you can kind of start getting an idea of what items are coming in the collection okay i'm still going to be doing a full sizing and review video once i return home from vacation i'll try everything on we'll talk about the fabric the fit the feel the stretch the compression the support we're going to talk about all that stuff today it's just a quick this is what it is. Look at how cute it is. All right, next item, okay? So, starting off, we have the Foxy Sports Bra. Now, some of you might have already seen this one. Um, I believe Heidi wore it on her Instagram stories a couple of weeks ago, um, but she wore it in like the brown color. So I got mine in this color, which I don't wanna tell you the wrong color, so let me look, I'm still memorizing all the colors. This is the Stardust color. And it's just like, this light is too harsh, but it's just this very super cute, like off-white, beigey color. It's so pretty. Um, and then I also got it in Jean Genie, which is this beautiful blue color. I love this. As soon as I saw this, I was like, I need that. I need that. Um, so yeah, remember I will talk about all the colors, all that stuff on my next video. Today is just a first look. So Genie bra, uh, the Genie, sorry, this Foxy sports bra. Um, it is Newbery and it is medium support. So it is long line. Yes, it has padding on the inside. Both of them do. And then here's the back. So freaking cute. I love the little like center ring and how all the straps just go off of it. It is a long line bra, and don't worry, because I'll probably post pictures on Instagram this week, because this is one of the bras that I'm taking with me. Next, I have the Flower Power Bra. It To me, it kind of looks like the Geo Bra. I don't know if you can kind of see. It's very, like, high line to the top, and then it's low, low line, long line, long line, um, and then the back. It's very crisscrossy again with that ring, except this time it's a metal ring. Let me turn down the brightness of this light, see if that helps. So um, yeah, you can see that little ring light right there. It is padded as well, and it's a hook and eye clasp, and it comes with the extender right here as well. Now this is the jacquard, this is a jacquard fabric. So I don't know if you, I'm gonna get really close. This is a textured, lead this way. Um, this is a textured fabric, and the texture in the shape of flowers. It's so freaking pretty, and it feels nice. Like, it feels really, really nice, um, and it's pretty stretchy. Yep, so jacquard. Um, I haven't tried it on yet, so I can't tell you how it compares to the Mad Scientist jacquard yet, but... I will try it on, I will work out in it, and I will give you all of the details. So this one will come um, with the matching uh, leggings as well, which are also this textured jacquard uh, fabric. But, so cute! Okay, next is the inline seamless sports bra, which looks very similar to the last seamless ones that came out during Most Wanted. Um, 
but it has a little mesh right here. I feel like this one is a little bit more, it's probably smaller, I don't, I don't know. But the back is different, see this back? And it's got some mesh, right, well maybe not there, but it does have some mesh in the front, right, right there. It is padded, it is long line, a little bit slightly long line. So that's a difference from the last one. The last one was just like a normal sports bra. This one has a little bit longer line all the way around. And it's got a little bit more coverage in the back. Um, and again, padded. So this is the seamless uh, blend. So it's like a nylon polyester spandex. And they said it's light to medium support. So I'll put it to the test. I feel like the last ones were also light to medium support. So that's pretty consistent. Um, and it's super stretchy. I'm going to turn it upside down so you can see it's super stretchy. So, yeah. Okay, next I have the Donna Crop. And it is this like bubbly textured feeling from um, the permafrost pullover. If you have the permafrost pullover, you remember the permafrost pullover. It's this like textured bubbly fabric. And it feels so nice. It feels so cooling. Um, and then the back is all crisscrossy. So I wouldn't classify this one as a bra. I would class this one more as like a crop top, like a crop tank. Um, could you work out in it? It would be very light support if you did. Um, I don't plan to wear this one to the gym. I plan to wear this one as a lifestyle piece um, just because it's so freaking cute. And there's so many ways that you can tie it. Like you can tie it like a halter. You can crisscross it. You can put it across and make it more like a tube top. Um, I'm going to show you the picture really quick, maybe. Um, so you can kind of get an idea of what I'm talking about, how the different ways that you can style it, because I think it's so freaking cute. Hopefully this works. But can you see that? There's so many ways to style it, and I think it's so pretty. And I got it in red. And yeah, I'm thinking like a night out, girls night out, going dancing. Like I'll probably wear this out like to dinner or something on my trip, because this one... This one's going with me. Other bras that are also coming in this collection that I just didn't personally get, there is a Rosa V2 bra. It's like a checkered, uh, here, let me see if I can show you. It's like a, t a checkered print. I know there's probably, do you see that? So it is the Rosa V2, um, which means that it's the Elysium Rosa versus the Nuri Rosa. Um, the Transcend Sports Bra, which is the one with the uh, separate colored stitching. Um, so that one's also coming, kind of like the, the ones that go with the Loch Ness leggings. So that bra is also coming. I don't have it. The Geo Sports Bra is also coming back in all of these colors, like these colorways. Um, the High Roller Reversible Bra, which I did not get, um, but it's it's like a two-toned bra and it's reversible so you can wear it like with one color on this way, one color on the other. So that's super, super cute. I already showed you Donna Crop, showed you Foxy Crop. Yeah, those are all the bras for this collection. So let's move on to some shorts. I do have some shorts here. Okay, so I have the Disco shorts. Look at that, they're so cute. They totally remind me of like rollerblading, you know like a very, it's velour, so I'll get really close, it's like a velour fabric, it's very, very soft, it's a little bit different than the um, Frozen sets, um, this one is, is, it's still light, it just feels a little bit different, it does have a drawstring, um, and then this is a two inch inseam, so they're, they're shorter shorts, a lot shorter than what I'm used to, but I've tried them on and I think they look pretty great. Um, so this, this for me would be more like a life, uh, no sorry, like a at home loungy piece. I don't think that I would wear this like to the gym or anything, but very soft. And then they also come with the matching crop, which I don't have yet. It's on the way. Um, so hopefully it's here but at home waiting for me by the time I get back from vacation. But it does come with a matching crop. So it's like a two-piece set. So, so freaking cute. This is the color olive, which I think is just like a total like representation of what um, was popular in the 70s. And like, I'm thinking like a velvet green couch, right? I don't know. That's what I'm thinking. But yeah. 
Okay, next is the Legacy Short. And I got mine in the green petal print. So we've got our traditional Legacy stitch on the back. Um, and then our beautiful little petal flowery print all over it. Um, this is a four inch inseam, again, light to medium. This is very similar to the um, ones that came out with the Terrazzo print ones that came out with um, Sugar Rush, but just obviously a different print, but it's the exact same short. So I had to get my hands on another one because it is summer and it is too hot outside to be wearing leggings. So super cute four inch inseam legacy shorts. All right, where are my biker short lovers at? Because we finally have a biker short back. This is the Rosa Pocket Biker Short. I got mine in the color Peace Pink. Um, so it is Newbury, and it is a longer short. So it's a biker short, so it's a 10 inch short, which I realize is very, very, very long, um, especially for us like shorties. I know this is going to come to like either right above my knee or my knee just because I have shorter legs. Um, but nonetheless, it's a biker short. So if you are not that comfortable, let's say with like the legacy shorts with that four inch, you do have an option for more coverage with a 10 inch. And I will totally wear these post pictures and just kind of show you where it falls on my leg. Um, New re, like I said, pocket, Rosa style, beautiful little dip. The V dip right there in the color Peace Pink. Okay, we're moving on to leggings now. I have the inline seamless legging. So you might think, Teresa, that looks like the last legging. No, it's a little bit different, okay? Two main things that I have noticed. Um, one, there's mesh down the entire side of the leg, starting from like where the waistband ends. There's mesh all the way down so you get that cute little peekaboo like down the whole side of your thigh so that's really cute the butt scrunch is still there okay i love me a butt scrunch so i was very excited to try this the butt scrunch and then the other thing that's different is it's got these lines at the ankle kind of remind me like tube socks right so i'm gonna see if i can step back so they kind of they look like this and then the butt scrunch in the back so really cute. So that matches with the inline seamless bra for a cute little seamless set. Okay, next up is the flower power legging. So this matches that yellow jacquard bra. I'll get really close so you can see. Let me see. So do you see this light? This light is too harsh. Okay, do you see the texture? On the legging right there and it's all the way down um, and then it's got pockets of course and then the back it's that round stitching versus the V so let me yeah uh, here let me turn this light away <laughs> so it's the um, round stitching on the back versus that deep V from like what a Rosa would have but it's like this and it does match the flower power bra so this jacquard legging feels really compressive. It's got stretch, but it feel like I can already feel that it's going to be pretty compressive. So I'm excited to try it on and just see how overall it fits and how it wears. Okay, next up is the Foxy Flare legging. And yes, it's a true flare this time. Look at that. Oh my god, I'm so excited about this piece. So stay tuned to my Instagram stories because I already took a picture in this and I cannot wait to show you. It is Newbury fabric, so we all love Newbury. Super stretchy, super light, um, and it's got the legacy stitch on the back of the legging. So that beautiful butterfly stitch. This is the color, I don't want to tell you the wrong color, Brady Brown. And it's so stinking cute. Like, I, I I need this legging in all the colors. Like, all the colors. Give them to me. An item that we haven't seen in a while is the Naughty Crop. So, it is in the, like, two colors with, like, the cap sleeves that are a different color. And then the built-in knot right there in the front. Um, this one looks longer. So, I have the original Naughty's, Naughty Crops that I bought way way a long time ago it's been a long time since they came out um and i feel like these ones are way longer i feel like those were more like literally crop these sit a little bit lower 
So I'm really excited to try this on. I haven't tried it on yet. Um, but yeah, so Naughty Crop Top. It feels so soft. And I think it's Nimbus. It feels like Nimbus fabric. Don't quote me on that, but that's what it feels like. But super cute. Another item that is also returning in these colorways is the permafrost pullover. So I showed you the crop that has this textured fabric. Well, now you have the pullover as well. We've got this like mock neck with the zipper all the way up. It is a cropped pullover. So it sits like right here. This is my belly button right here. So it sits above my belly button. Um, and it goes all the way down to the sleeves and we do get some thumb holes. So I think this is so cute, such a bright color for summer. Um, I know that some of y'all were hoping that these would have, that this collection would have neons. This and the yellow are probably gonna be the brightest colors. Oh, and the orange. So I'm surprised, uh, I have an orange scrunchie, so I'll show you the orange in a minute. Um, but those three colors I think are the brightest ones. Well, and the pink. So I think there's a good combination of both like, you know, muted 70s neutrals and then the bright pops of color. But permafrost pullover. Okay, the next piece I'm so excited about. This is the hottie bodysuit. So this is a bodysuit. This is not a gym piece. This is totally a lifestyle piece, but it's um, all the way down. So you can see the back, probably like a thong back. And it does not have clasps. This is the first bodysuit like this that does not have any type of clasp. So you definitely gonna have to like step into it to put it on and then you're just gonna raise up the um, sleeves. Now, let me take this off for a second. This is like a halter bodysuit, so you can see it comes down, it's very plunging down like this, okay? Now, you can wear this so many ways because right now we have it as a halter, but you could totally twist it um, and I'll, I'll Oh, don't worry, I'll post all the pictures. But you can twist it and kind of change the neck of the bodysuit. Um, and then this has no padding, there is no belt and bra, it's just the bodysuit, which is again why I say this is more of a lifestyle piece. But I think that you would do well with like a sticky bra maybe, maybe some boob tape to, you know, kind of hold the girls up while you wear this. And you are going to get some great cleavage out of it. And I think this is going to look great on all size boobies, even if you were like an A cup, because I think it's just going to get this like sexy little drop down here, the sexy V. Oh, I'm so excited. So I, this is one of the pieces, ah! this is one of the pieces that I said I was just, dying to try um honestly this one and the donna crop were the two things that i was just like i can't wait to get those i can't wait to wear them because listen i love me some gym clothes y'all know we do we're all gym clothes junkies that's why you're watching this video right but i also really love some great lifestyle pieces and right now with it being summer give me all the halters give me all the crops give me all the stuff that's gonna make me feel confident and beautiful in and outside of the gym and this is totally one of those outside of the gym pieces and the back is wide open so you get a full open back and it's just i think it's such a sexy bodysuit um again it's called the hottie bodysuit um but it's just such a sexy piece Okay, now I have the disco romper. So I just showed you the disco short and I told you that it comes with a disco crop. But if a two piece isn't your vibe, there is also a romper. So it's all in one with a drawstring waist, no pockets, but you still get that cute little stitching. Um, and then it's a crossover bodysuit. There is a clasp right here that you can undo. And then the back is like, this um and then it's got adjustable straps the shorts are a two inch inseam just like the disco short but um i don't feel like it's too short so at first i didn't i was afraid to get this because i, I thought it wasn't going to work for me and my legs but it does now i did size up to this one um, or size up to an extra large in this one. After wearing it, I kind of regret doing that. I think my normal large size would fit me much better um, because I feel like this part up here is too big since I sized up. So I would say stick with your normal size on this one. Stay tuned to my IG stories 
because this I'm posting this first. This is the first picture I'm going to post wearing this so you can see it because I absolutely fell in love with it. Let's talk about accessories because we get all the accessories this time around. I'm going to start with the belt bag. Look at it. Okay, so we've seen these before in the marble print. Um, I have mine in white marble and then there was also a black marble one. But now we get solid. So it comes in this pink color, black, green, like the olive green, um, and red, salsa red. So you do get four colors to choose from on the belt bags. It's the exact same belt bag from before. Same design, same size, everything. It's just different colors. So the Game Changer belt bag. We also get more tube socks. So they just released the Pride Collection tube socks with like the rainbow here, but now it's just plain color. So these, these do say love. I believe the other ones say peace. So peace, love, and I think Buff Bunny, and it's just like the logo. So peace, love, Buff Bunny, I think that's what it is. Don't quote me, but I'm pretty sure that's what it was. But I got the love ones and I absolutely love them. And then the last accessory, which you guys know I'm obsessed with, scrunchies. So this is the orange that I was talking about. Do you see how pretty this orange is? Oh, so cute. Um, and yeah, here's the pink so you can kind of see. But scrunchies are back in both solid colors and the um, flowery print one. So I'm so excited to have scrunchies back. Um, but yeah, so that's all I received in my box. I'm gonna take some of these pieces with me on vacation, throw them in my suitcase, and I gotta go to the airport. But I wanna make sure that I did not leave you hanging and that you had something to reference right away, right after the collection announcement. So once again, this launches on July 2nd at 1 p.m. My code is Teresa if you want to support me. If you entered the June giveaway, I will be announcing those winners on July 2nd, the day before this collection goes live. So hopefully those winners will be able to apply that $100 gift card towards this collection. And then of course, we're gonna have a new giveaway for this collection, so stay tuned. Lots of goodies coming your way, lots of giveaways, lots of bunny bucks, um, and yeah. So, I'll see you next time, bye!